It's Aaron from Supercoder.com. Today, our topic is ICD-9 coding and how it can go awry. A lot of our Supercoder.com heroes tell us that they often hear this kind of question from other coders. Hey, we performed XYZ procedure. Can you tell me which diagnosis codes we can report to Medicare to get this claim paid? Does that sound familiar? Aaron, this type of coding is backward. Stop asking which diagnosis code will get my claim paid. Instead, you should code directly from the medical record. After all, ICD-9 guidelines state, and I quote, the entire record should be reviewed to determine the specific reason for the encounter and conditions treated, end quote. Oh, ICD guidelines, huh? Don't want to run afoul of those. Besides that, I've read it's illegal to assign ICD-9 codes that depend on what you think the MAC wants. Count me out of any healthcare fraud scheme for sure. So, Suzanne, how do I get my claims paid? First of all, any diagnosis that you report on a claim must be clearly documented in the patient's chart, not selected because it's a covered diagnosis. In some cases, an LCD will list a very general or unspecified diagnosis code as being payable, whereas your physician has documented a more specific diagnosis which isn't in the LCD. In these cases, you should still report the documented diagnosis, but if the MAC denies the claim, appeal it by saying, if the unspecified code is payable, then why isn't the more speci specific condition considered medically necessary? Okay, so appeals. Okay, so what if the LCD says I can't get the claim paid and I don't have an appeal route um, and there's, there's just no way to get it in the, in, the, in the medical record I'm looking at? That means no cash at all, right? Well, not necessarily. No cash for the insurer, right? But that means the patient is financially responsible. If the patient is a Medicare patient, that means it's time to whip out the AVN, or Advanced Beneficiary Notice. So it sounds like it all starts once again with the physician. If he or she doesn't clearly document diagnoses and medical necessity, my options as a coder are limited. Guess it's time for another clinician training session. I love those. Yeah, me too. If you love training doctors as much as we do, you'll love all the great clinician training materials you'll find in supercoder.com. Because let's face it, when you coders are out there training doctors and other clinicians, you are a hero. See you next time.